Yeah, so hello everyone. Uh, today uh, we'll be uh, doing a group discussion. So what happens in a group discussion is we will be given two topics. Uh, usually we get 15 minutes to discuss upon those topics, and uh, we need to put up our points regarding the one uh, regarding the topic that we have chosen. Uh, basically, we get uh, two topics, and the group uh, votes among themselves. So which group, uh, which topic they need to choose so once the topic is chosen we get 15 minutes to discuss uh, the points among amongst ourselves so i'll start off with the topic uh, so the first topic is brain drain in india and the second topic for gd is where should india invest more uh, defense agriculture or education so i'll share these uh, <coughs> topics in chat also so you can there. So let's start uh, voting. Like, uh, which topic do you think we should start off with? Uh, hi, Sudhir. Hello. Yeah, so we'll be doing group, uh, group discussion today. The topics are shared in the chat. Okay, okay. Just a second. Uh, actually, I can't see any topics. Okay, I'll uh, share it. Okay. So, the topic for today is brain drain and uh, where should India invest more? Defense, agriculture, or education? Okay, okay. I think we should go with the second one. Okay, so since majority of us uh, are uh, voting for the second topic, so we'll discuss for uh, the second topic, which is where should India invest more, defense, agriculture, or education. So we'll be having 15 minutes. I'll start the timer. So we'll be having 15 minutes to discuss the points. So uh, let's just start. Okay, so I think uh, the majority, like the three uh, different topics given us, uh, given to us, are defense, agriculture, and education. Currently in India, uh, agriculture is uh, uh, participating about uh, eighteen percent. Like in the recent reports, uh, during 22, 2022 to twenty three, agriculture is around eighteen percent of the uh, GDP. Uh, it contributes around eighteen percent of uh, GDP to India. So I think yeah, agriculture is already. Uh, Great, and also the import and export businesses, uh, depending on the agriculture, are also okay. If we are talking about investment, first we have to understand where we should invest. We invest in the things where we have some profit or progress report. For that, I think education sector is the best because every country's backbone is education. If you have a good infrastructure, good education, then your country will definitely grow. So in that regard, we should go with the education. As Saurav rightly pointed that agriculture contributes to about 18% of the GDP, yet about 54% of India's population is yet dependent on agriculture for their survival. So I think the goal here should be to modernize agriculture in a way that it supports the nation and also reduce the wasteful expenditure that agriculture carries with it due to our practices that have not evolved with time. Uh, correct. Uh, adding on to Nikita's point, so agriculture, all, uh, as she said, like 54 percent of uh, our uh, nation depends upon the agricultural field. So uh, we can also improve the current methods that are applied in agriculture. And uh, since uh, modern tools and uh, technologies are there, we can also improve uh, the quality of uh, uh, crops or uh, the produce that is uh, formed. Uh, with the help of agriculture and uh, also uh, there are several methods uh, implemented in plus like uh, crop hybridization uh, and we talk about agriculture in general so we can also use modern technologies and methods uh, such as uh, hybrid crops or crop rotation etc the disguised unemployment is one major factor which affects agriculture so if agriculture is made uh, uh, like modernized in a way then it will free up people who can then better their skills and go for jobs in other sectors, which will eventually help the country to grow. Uh, friends, we cannot or uh, should not forget the importance of education because 
if the we promote the invest in education and uh, promote all the students to get good in, uh, education it will help in all the sectors like defense also in and agriculture also if a student get good knowledge about modern techniques and hybrid crops uh, in biotechnology which is used in agriculture so he can uh, produce uh, more uh, in that agriculture also and in the defense services also so uh, i think education is the backbone of all the, all the services and uh, all the things which occurs so we should uh, invest more in education and promote the all youths to get educated supporting the point of aditya i want to say like saurav and nikita said that uh, agriculture is producing more and more ben- uh, progress to the country but uh, if we see india india is a country which is turning towards side the service sector nowadays and this service sector is being produced only through the education system if we'll see that the agriculture is growing uh, in the long term era we can see that it is just because of education if we are getting a good education proper amount of time for the investment for any we could go very fast and to a lo- lo- large extent so as we have said about the crop rotation mix cropping and other stuff which can only be seen just because of education in previous days we were just growing agriculture with a plow with the co- help of a cow but now we have introduced with the tractor and big machines which is only come from the investment of the education So, so the main purpose here is, is to percolate these benefits to the backward sections of the country because yet there are many areas in our country where such means, such tools have not yet reached. If you see the government's expenditure, majority of its expenditure is on fertilizer subsidy. It's because we are not going towards organic methods of agriculture, or the dependence on imports of agri- uh, fertilizers is paying us heavily. So the need, I think, is to first. look upon these defects work upon it and also build upon uh, education that's for sure yeah so lastly i want to my, add my point like that we can go for the both the combination of agriculture and education yeah absolutely like as aditya and sudhir mentioned education also plays an important role uh, in the development of country itself so uh, yeah as sudhir said combination of agriculture as well as education so Uh, let's divide like uh, advise some points regarding that so like how india how india could invest in uh, education so if we see during the recent times the literacy rate has been increasing in india and, uh, there are various uh, programs and schemes uh, like m manrega and uh, such schemes which provides free education to uh, those children who are not uh, economically uh, that much uh, well as compared to the normal population so uh, if, if you could just like to interrupt you ma- said about the nagrega it doesn't provide education it provide employment to the people yeah. or to say that it's a scheme it's a scheme for rural employment, employment yeah sorry but the major the revolution that has happened in online education in the past 3 to 4 years that should also come into play here it has enabled people in far uh, reaching areas to have as access to education and they can further their skills and you know be a better asset to the country yeah also uh, correcting my point like schemes there were also schemes like mid day meal so which encourages the uh, students in uh, rural areas to join the schools so such schemes could be implemented or uh, the main thing is the awareness about education like still, uh, in rural areas various rural areas the people are not well aware about uh, uh, the importance uh, of education I think uh, such schemes also help us uh, helps in generating awareness among people. Uh, friends, I think uh, government should invest in the education field, like uh, just uh, awareing the students of rural area about education and uh, uh, means uh, giving their interest in the education field and improve the facilities uh, to the students which are uh, in the rural area and the all areas also, so that uh, the uh, students get interest in the education. and uh, should uh, provide the online education uh, platform to their to access the education to all the students that will uh, help in the economy of uh, our nation also also about the synergy between agriculture and education a government has also been taking initiatives where the farmers are being now more better educated about the practices that they can take to make agriculture more productive that uh, and that is also a step in the right direction Uh, you can also uh, include some points dervish near yeah. 
Hello, I'm Arvind. Uh, yes. Uh, I think uh, India should uh, uh, invest in education uh, because it's uh, important. Uh, it's actually it's a holistic approach to improve our agriculture uh, and uh, education and defense uh, because of the uh, investment in uh, education sector. Uh, we can improve the uh, the um, other sectors like uh, the uh, defense and agriculture. uh yeah so basically uh, for improve uh, for uh, providing awareness so we uh, discussed like various schemes we could implement and on a personal level also like uh, there could be uh, campaigns that uh, we could like on a personal level uh, could uh, uh, do you say like we can organize a basic campaigns for uh, uh, generating awareness and uh, yeah. there are also schemes like uh, people what they do is uh, we can organize uh, free tuitions for uh, the uh, students which are not uh, so well uh, uh, economically well established so yeah that would also help in generating awareness uh, any other points yeah. did yeah. uh, guys we so, have a discussion Yeah, so any, any, any conclusion think. about this uh, yeah so basically uh, we decided we uh, discuss like the importance of education as well as agriculture in india so uh, combining agriculture and education both goes uh, hand in hand as we investment in defense is all required like we have seen many aircraft and other things and equipment that should be replaced and new should be It came in this build so that there is uh, no soldier will be their life should be saved as we have seen there is many aircraft helicopters due to their like a lot of years they are in the forces that uh, taken like in the 2021 we have lost our serious general bipin rawat because of that uh, mill sorry to mine. sorry to interrupt but mi 17 b5 is the most advanced helicopter currently in the world if you see so so the helicopter crash was so the helicopter so the helicopter crash was based on technical issues it was happened i want to say that i didn't like to disagree with anyone i just say that there is some technical issues and it was not being uh, identified by so there is some equipment at that okay guys okay guys cool bhai ladai badai don't get hyper it's a i think friendly discussion so yeah, so as we uh, also included some points regarding uh, the defense sector also like we can also invest in our defense uh, equipment also so as she mentioned the recent increase in casualties due to uh some errors in uh, the provide uh, uh, the current generation like fighter planes and also like mig 21s there were uh, several uh, news recently like uh, crash it is increasing rates of crash so also, so yeah we can also invest in the defense sector as well so basically the thing is mig 21 is required all i think mig 21 has retired already Mac- No, no, no. So the uh, uh, no, no. But it will retire till two thousand twenty-four or twenty-five because what about the twenty-nine? Make 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 twenty-nine are are not in the service of fire. Okay. I was missing the numerical, so we got it. Okay, no problem. Let's. Uh, Currently, make twenty-one Bison is the advanced version of make twenty-one, which is uh, used in Indian Air Force, and which will be replaced by uh, LCA Mark One. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's uh, uh, not deviate from the main topic of our discussion. So, <laughs> I think collectively uh, <laughs> we should uh, invest in all three sectors: defense, agriculture, and education as well. So each has its own importance, and uh, as we have seen, like we have separate budgets for uh, each of these. Uh, factors like different uh, defense agriculture and education so equal importance i guess uh, is required in both of uh, in all these sectors
uh, any other points if anyone would like to add aditya adarsh neha i would like to hear platypus please ha bhai actually you have a good point and good knowledge about air force but i would like to hear you in we can do one thing uh, sudhir sorry to interrupt once we finish this discussion and the recording is stopped we can have okay, a general okay, discussion sorry, sorry, sorry. ourselves and then we can get to know about each other and also learn from you know what else sure, sure sure i think that would be better because we are in the middle of a gd here right so sorry sorry <laughs> so like in conclusion uh, we have like decided uh, the importance of all these these all these three factors defense agriculture as well as education so if you would anyone would like to add some concluding points so uh, guys you need to participate actually So basically, we have came to a conclusion that the the need of the hours to invest in all three. No one can uh, there cannot be an isolated investment in any one. But if we have to like prioritize, we can go for education, defense, agriculture, or anything like that. Because India is also focusing more on becoming self-reliant in defense. I think so. That has also been a major push in the past two years. so yeah we have concluded uh, the gd like uh, all these three factors required equal importance so i'll uh, stop the recording now uh, thank you everyone for participating